Ravings from the grave and salutations everyone, Dr. Redfield here today to give you a quick mod on what you could do to stop that ever bothersome rattle that you may have with your new At Games Legends Pinball Control Panel. Please be sure to like and subscribe to join us. Anybody in there, now let's not waste any more time and dive into this beast. So you've hooked up your At Games Legends pinball device and you dropped in that new fancy control panel. And you notice that while you're playing it, you have some aggressive haptics going on? Well, I have a cheap, simple solution that I'm going to share with you all right now. So I've already done this mod, and then once I realized how, how nice it actually sounded, I decided I want to share with you guys, so here we go. The only things you're going to need are a drill, a glue gun, a decent pair of scissors, and some of the packing foam that was used for your pinball device when it was shipped to you. All you're going to have to do is open this up. There's 13 screws. You have three screws up front and five screws on each side. Really simple. But once I opened it up and took a look, I saw that it had several loose spaces. Just like the, the original control panel that came for the pinball device, it was, it was screwed up top, but down in the front, it was all like loose. Like, so the first thing I did is I took the hot glue gun and I ran a bead of glue all the way down along the inside of that edge. So here's a pro tip with your glue gun. Do not use it while it's super, super molten liquid hot, meaning do not set it down for 10, 15 minutes, then come back to the glue gun ready to use it. Use the glue as soon as it's warm enough to start flowing through here. This way you can control it better and it's not gonna run away from you like liquid molten lava. And this way it's at a temperature that you could tap it and touch it, manipulate it with your fingers if necessary. Pro tip right there. So all you have to do is take out all the screws with that plastic cover and it comes right off and it gains you access to where those haptics are. And what you're going to want to do is put glue around that space where those are because that will greatly reduce all the vibration that will be transferred through the rest of the panel because it's all coming from those haptic little sensors right there. Once I put the plastic cover back on, I noticed that it was kind of flexible in points and that would allow for more vibrations to transfer through the entire board. So I just ran a bead of glue all the way around it. Now remember, you don't need to go thick. You're not frosting a cake here. A little bit will go a long way, guys. Just seal it up so it doesn't move. You kind of want to make this thing watertight, like a dolphin's butt. When that's done, you're going to want to put the control panel back inside of the pinball machine, connecting all the appropriate wires before doing so, and then grab that black packing foam and your pair of scissors. Here we go. So taking a pair of scissors, you're going to cut out several inches long and you're going to cut them about an eighth of an inch thick. You're going to want to cut them as thin as you possibly can. These will essentially be gaskets used to buffer the vibrations transferred through the control panel to the metal brackets that are used to attach everything together on the ALP. The two sides I cut them to length while across the front I only use three smaller pieces. These are about an inch and a half long to two inches. Two on each corner and one in the center. Now carefully reassemble everything, making sure those gasket strips aren't sticking out too far and that they're even and then you'll be good to go. The strips should barely be visible. If you do it right, it should look like part of the machine. I also went into the table's features and dropped the haptics to low or very low and I felt like that was perfect. Now my machine can thump and bump and it will not rattle to wake the dead. This has been Dr. Redfield telling you guys how to make that ALP control panel vibrate just right. Remember, play and slay. Play until dead.